morning and welcome back. Jimmy and I are here at the Makerspace where we're going to build out our van once we buy one. So the first thing we gotta do today is we signed up for a wood shop safety certification class which will allow us to use all the tools available to us in the wood shop at the Makerspace. They have all sorts of stuff. They have a table saw, a miter saw, jigsaws, circular saws, routers, laser cutters, everything. So I think this will be the perfect place to build out the van. We just gotta make sure that we're certified. So we finished the woodshop certification a little bit ago and we both passed. I don't know if anybody's ever actually failed that, but it's nice to know that we passed because it was a two hour class. We got to try out cuts on multiple different, well, really just one saw, but we used the table saw, the joiner, and the planer. So it was good practice for some of the more dangerous machinery in there, but Jimmy and I have enough experience, I don't wanna say a lot of experience, but we have enough experience with the tools that we're gonna be using. And this certification just means that now we're allowed to use the workshop. And it's 24 hours, so we can really hit the ground running as soon as we get the van. Now we're just itching to sell the bus and get an apartment and finally buy a van so we can really get this thing started. If you remember from our last video, we had four things we needed to do before we start working on the van. And that was find a workshop, find an apartment, sell the bus, and then buy a van. We're at the workshop and we did our certification, so we're good on that. And today, I think we actually have a lead on a real apartment that, or okay, it's a room in an apartment. This is the farthest we've ever made it. We've talked to at least 10 different people or apartment complexes, and this is by far the farthest we've gotten in the process. We're actually gonna go tour the place and hopefully sign some type of lease today. And with any luck, we can cross one more thing off our list. Real quick, we're very excited to be working with Omaze to offer you a chance to win an Airstream Caravel and Ram 1500 limited truck. As you might know, Natalie and I are transitioning out of the bus right now and we do a lot of daydreaming about what our next build could be like. Imagine how great it would be to have this set up for your adventures. The cool thing about having a truck pulling your camper is that you can unhitch and drive pretty much anywhere. Plus, you'd get a luxury Airstream to relax in after. So basically how it works is you enter for a chance to win, but you can also donate to increase your chances to win at omaze.com slash Jimmy Natalie. The nations benefit Mutt Nation Foundation, which supports rescue animals and shelters. So not only will you have a chance to win the amazing prize, you'll also be supporting a good cause. So for your chance to win, head over to omaze.com slash Jimmy Natalie and enter now. All right, so that actually went surprisingly well. We just showed up expecting to get a tour and maybe ask a few questions. But everything went so well that we actually went ahead and signed a lease. So we officially have completed, uh, I think that's our second of our big four that we need to get done. Now the only thing left is we need to sell the bus and buy a van. So we can technically go ahead and move in tonight if we wanted to, but we feel kind of sad about that, about moving too quickly. So we're going to make tonight the last night in the bus and kind of just really take it all in one last time before we move back into an apartment. We are really gonna miss living on the road, but I know that we'll get back to it before the end of the year if all goes well. Yeah, hopefully within uh, three months. I don't know, we keep putting time schedules and that's never a good idea. So we'll do it yeah. as quickly as possible. <laughs> we wanna get back on the road as much as I'm sure you guys want us to as well. Yeah, so we don't wanna rush too quickly into getting out of the bus, even though we've been really working hard to get an apartment. We don't want to just ditch it we want to enjoy one last night because you know this was a huge part of our lives that we'll remember forever so I don't I really want to make sure that we take it all in so while we want to make sure that we appreciate the last day in the bus it is impossible to ignore how freaking hot it is in here right now 
we didn't build in any AC for this thing. We were just planning on chasing the weather, which was going awesome. We never had any problem with getting too hot until we decided to change our travel plans, move here to Salt Lake City, and wait to sell the bus. So since we've been living here the last couple weeks, it just gets so hot in the middle of the day. But thankfully, it's a little bit of backstory to this, but uh, Jimmy and I used to work office jobs and in our office building, we had a Starbucks in the building. So for every Christmas, birthday, gift giving holiday, people would get me Starbucks gift cards. So we pull from that gift card balance whenever there's a really hot day like this and Jimmy and I just wanna go somewhere cool to where we can relax and get some work done. So I think we're gonna take advantage of that one last time for a while. It does feel weird to do this right after we just said this is the last night in the bus, but we've got to wait out the heat. It's impossible to relax in here right now. I definitely want to get a coffee later, but I had to start with the water. Oops. I'm just too hot to think about anything else. Now it's 8 p.m. and we are both starving. So we're gonna head back to the bus and try to find something to make for dinner. This might be the last time we cook a meal in the bus, which is a little sad. We thought about going to Wendy's because when we bought the bus and drove it home, we stopped and got Wendy's and we sat on the floor and ate it on the floor of the empty bus. And we're gonna be parking right next to Wendy's tonight. She really tried to convince me, but I think we upgraded the bus We've got to upgrade our meals as well, so I don't think we can have Wendy's tonight. It doesn't feel right. Right. We're doing Zaxby's. I'm kidding. I wish. Tickets, no tickets, no tickets, no tickets, no tickets. No tickets. We're good. Look at the keys. Thank you. Good catch. We've gotten good at that over the last year. <laughs> so I think for dinner, we're gonna do teriyaki tofu served over white rice. We've been making a lot of tofu lately, pretty much ever since I did my five day solo bus trip and uh, we really like it. Normally I like doing this dish, <laughs> dish is two things. Normally I like to add grilled pineapple. We don't have any pineapple right now, so it's still good on its own. And maybe I'll add in some zucchini. I gotta see if it's still good. I know the last time we mentioned in a video that we were eating tofu we got a lot of comments about how it's like rabbit food but i like it so we're gonna eat it also since natalie has started to like tofu more um i think she so badly wants me to like it as well that she's been doing most of the cooking whenever we do have tofu just to like convince me to eat it and i feel like i've been convinced for a while to eat it but uh don't tell her that because she's still been making most of the food around here i do do most of the dishes though so Hopefully that's a fair trade. That's fair in my book. Did it again. <laughs> this is really good. Aww. You know, for tofu. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. <laughs> I feel like everyone around here is kind of celebrating our last night in the bus as well because uh, it's the day before July 4th and there's been fireworks going off. <laughs> I guess word got out. Yeah. <laughs> I know I probably don't use chopsticks correctly, but it works. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You remember when we were building the bus and we would like make food on paper plates and then come out here to eat it like just because we were so excited? Yeah. I think it was just as hot when we did that as it is now. Last night in the bus. I still cannot believe it. Like it is not sunk in. 
it's gonna hit me when somebody buys it and it's rolling away. Now that we've had dinner, we're trying to figure out how we want to spend the rest of our last night in the bus. And we have a good bit of work that we need to do, but I think we're going to put that off and just focus on relaxing and make sure that we really soak in our last night in our home that we built with our own two hands. I know we're about to build another van and that's going to be really exciting. We're both super excited to get started on that but we don't want to forget about the bus and the wonderful times that we've had over the last year traveling. She's taken us from our homes in South Carolina to Arizona where we spent several months exploring the desert and then we made it all the way up to Wyoming. So really we've been through a lot and we've had probably some of the highest highs of our lives and some pretty low lows to be honest, but I think we've handled it well and we've grown as people since we've lived in the bus. I definitely would say that. So I, we're both feeling a little sentimental, a little reflective. So we're just gonna relax and take it all in and maybe just watch a little bit more TV, which sounds like we're not soaking it in, but this is gonna be our last opportunity to fully enjoy our TV setup, which has kind of just been a special treat for us while we've been on the road. So we wanna enjoy that one last time. Good morning from the bus. This might be one of the last times I get to say that. Uh, it's a little sad. Natalie and I are a little nervous about moving out today, but we've been talking and I think the fact that it's so hot right now in Utah is kind of helping us, you know, kick ourselves out the door. And uh, I think it'll make this like move a little bit easier to bear, I guess. But uh, before we actually make it to the apartment, uh, we do need to run by Walmart and grab a few things. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. That's right. Huh. It looks good on you. Pretty good. <laughs> I don't feel it. You can tell with the whole, you know. I know, the yeah. The they put on it. Yeah, it looks so ridiculous with all the cardboard. I feel like we need them, but. Yeah, because we're going to be riding on like streets a lot. So we should probably finally get some. Oh, <laughs> It's gotta be harder with the motor. It is, I'm used to like kicking off with the motor. Yeah, you gotta hit the throttle. How do I look? Very cool. I feel <laughs> very silly. <laughs> the cardboard does not help. <laughs> cool. We got an air mattress. We obviously can't use the mattress we're using now in our new sublease, and that's because we literally chopped off a corner to be able to fit the shower side by side, so it's not really the size of a normal mattress anymore. So we have one ordered, but it's about two weeks out, so it's not gonna get here in time. And uh, we were coming to Walmart to actually buy two different cots, and that's because we totally forgot about air mattresses. So we went to the camping section and obviously found a, a nice full-sized air mattress that will work so much better than two cots. So now we have everything, so we're gonna head to the apartment and officially start moving in. Oh, thank you, Nat. I'm not gonna live in the bus anymore. Hmm, nope. Never again. Hmm, I'd be sad if it wasn't so hot. <laughs>
right, I think we're all set up here. So I think the last thing we need to do before we're done officially moving out of the bus is take the bus to its final permanent parking place. So we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna ride our bikes back here. It looks so different in here. Everything just kind of looked the same because for the most part, we were just clearing out all of the shelves and all of our cabinets and our refrigerator. So it all just kind of looks the same until we came back and got the bed spread. And now it just looks so empty and like not like a home anymore. Oh, it's sad seeing it like that. <laughs> love you. I love you. We did good. We'll do another build just like this one. Even we'll, better. We'll love it even more. How cool do I look with my new helmet? Uh, you look like you own a bike, that's for sure. Nice, that's what I was going for. I feel like it was about time that we both bought some helmets because we're probably gonna be biking almost every day. And Jimmy just recently turned 26, so now neither of us have health insurance. So the least we could do is wear some helmets, right? not too bad, which is a good thing because we might be doing that quite a bit in the next coming months. But I guess this really starts our first night in our new place. You probably won't see us here too much, to be honest, because this is pretty much where we're just gonna go to eat and sleep. The real action is gonna be happening in the makerspace. But tonight we are making our very first meal in our apartment, which is bittersweet because we're not in the bus, but I don't know, I think it's cute and fun. Jimmy and I have lived in a lot of different places together, so it's always exciting having the first night and having the whole round of firsts. First meal, first sleep, first morning, first shower. So there's just, uh, it's a lot to unpack and it's a really big change, but we're grateful that we found a nice place to live. <laughs> 